We've all lived through the COVID pandemic. You may have lived through other natural disasters, uh, thinking weather and, um, and things of that nature. So starting off with just in your house, we wanna think about what threatens us here. Uh, having a major ice storm in Las Vegas, probably not an issue. So we don't need to prepare as much for that. So I wanna think about what is the most likely thing that is going to disrupt my life. So here um, in the summertime, it gets crazy hot. And if we lose power, your AC is gonna go out. So thinking about how do I stay cool and uh, stay alive in my own house if we have a power outage. Um, so some things that could help you out is having you know, water in the house, so significant amounts of water. You could lose water depending on the system that you're on if the power goes out as well. Um, so what you might wanna do is take some old, I like to use juice jugs, so the clear plastic. Milk jugs aren't as good because the plastic degrades real fast. Take two, three, four gallons of those. If you have the space, put them in your freezer and they're gonna freeze. Um, then what you can do if the power goes out, you can move them to your fridge and that cold is now an ice pack. Uh, that ice pack, uh, as it melts, hopefully the power comes back on, but if it melts all the way, um, you can now have several gallons of fresh water to drink. Uh, thinking about your family, it's advisable about a gallon per person per day. So if you've got a family of five, say we wanna be prepared for three days, quick math, that's uh, 15 gallons of water. Uh, probably not gonna store all that in your freezer, but uh, you know, throw some in your garage, just keep it out of the direct sunlight, and, um, and you're good to go there. Uh, some other things, thinking about shading your home, so having blinds, having additional shades on your windows, so that if the power goes out, we can stay cool, and then potentially even if you have the money for it, you know, battery-powered fans, or a full backup generation system to power fans, um, and to keep the house kind of cooler, so that you're not burning through water, and just in a, you know, a miserable state. Uh, some other potential disasters we have here we got one kind of rolling in is uh you know monsoons so that big moving water uh hopefully your home's not in a floodplain um however you may have you know your road your yard in a floodplain so understanding that risk do i have water potentially moving um through my yard, through my driveway, through my garage. Uh, do I need to get some sandbag material so I can pack that around my house if we have water moving? Um, shouldn't be long-term flooding like they get kind of, you know, in the south, in the center of the country. But can I redirect some water so that it doesn't do significant damage to my home, uh, you know, if we do get, um, get that monsoon moving through your area? And then obviously, you know, having that like homeowner's insurance that's gonna cover flooding. Uh, some other things, you know, just to have around your house, if you remember the great toilet paper runs of 2020, is just having, you know, a little bit additional supplies, for lack of a better term, uh, you know, so that if there is some sort of disaster, you're not having to think about, I need to go to the store and buy all these things, compete with people, potentially run into looters, things of that nature. Just like you do with a bank account, hopefully you have, you know, an emergency fund and typically, you know, three to six months of expenses. So just kind of think maybe a week, maybe two, three weeks of additional perishables. So food, we talked about water already, um, you know, toothpaste, toilet paper, paper towels, things that will run out and it may not kill you, but it'll make your life real miserable. Um, so you just kind of think about it. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. You don't have to go buy cases of food. Just when you're at the store, okay, I go through X amount of non-perishables every week. I'm gonna buy 10% more for a few weeks and slowly build up a supply. Just put it in the back of your pantry, rotate through your stock, uh, and you have that additional uh, padding if you do have to, you know, stay in your home for a, for a long period of time due to some sort of natural disaster.